guys is Gibby Gutierrez also known as Gibby Joe here on YouTube and I'm here today with the tutorial on how to get started with After Effects. After Effects is a really cool and nifty program it's used for creating motion graphics and uh, compositing stuff including uh, compositing footage with text and for this particular tutorial we're gonna learn how to do this I'm gonna play this movie and by the time we're done we're gonna learn how to do all the elements that are in this particular video let's play it So let's review what we just saw right now. So in After Effects, we're going to learn how to import media, such as this JPEG uh, image. We're going to learn how to overlay text. We're going to learn how to animate the text, both its position and its opacity. Um, and then we're going to add some effects to our text, such as this blur right here, just to make our text a little bit more interesting. And then import footage. Scrub through that a bit and then uh, fade everything out and then put everything together with some music and fade out the music and do all sorts of stuff so yeah let's get cracking let's shrink you just a bit we're gonna keep you open and let's start with After Effects After Effects After Effects After Effects please load up faster wait on you After Effects come on okay so here is After Effects the main window and uh, let's go through right quick all the menu systems. Here's the, the generic menus. We'll get familiar. And they're pretty standard and self-labeled. This is your toolbar up here. It's going to have all your tools. We're mainly going to be working with the selection tool and the text tool. And uh, right here is your project window that you have. It opens up by default. This is your composition area. Um, uh, eventually, we're going to have a comp, and you're going to see what changes around. These are your doodads and doohickeys on the side that show like your After Effects, your RAM previews, and uh, your, your text stuff. And down here is your timeline. There's no composition in here right now, and uh, you're also your render queue, but it's your timeline for the most part. And uh, getting started with After Effects is really simple. You're going to take your different media that you have, such as your images, your footage, your music, and your text, and they're going to be in your solid layers, which are your solid color layers. They're going to show up in your project and then you dump them down in your timeline and you composite them. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a comp, a composition. We're going to do that by going to composition, new composition or hitting control N and it brings up the composition settings window that we have right here. Let's name this first off. Let's call it time fighters for now. You want to name your compositions generally um, so that way you can keep track of them. A lot of times you'll be working with multiple compositions and putting those compositions in other compositions and that's called nesting it saves a lot of time you get to do some really cool nifty effects the first thing that we're going to run into down here in this comp settings are the is the preset ntsc dv you get to work with all sorts of uh you know uh formats and stuff but we're going to stick to the standard north american tv standard uh which is ntsc dv if you're in europe or australasia europa or the moon for example you'd probably want to switch to pal but we're going to be working on NTSC for now. And these are the standard uh, width and height that it comes locked in with. And we're going to leave this pixel aspect ratio at uh, the standard, which is this right here. The square pixels is used uh, very particularly for computers and stuff, but we're going to be working with uh, video for now. Leave the frame rate at 29.9, which is a standard for NTSC. We'll leave the resolution at full, and uh, the start is going to be all at zero. And the other thing that we're going to worry about is the duration. Let's set this to 15. I'd made a prior video. It was kind of long. So we'll trim this down to 15 seconds. The way that this goes, it goes hours, minutes, seconds, and then these last two numbers are frames. So make sure you put this 15 right at the second set of zeros. Or excuse me, the one, two, third set of zeros. The second set of double zeros, the third set of zeros. And I'll probably confuse you, so I'm just going to be quiet for a second. And we're going to hit OK for those comp settings. And once you have a composition in place, 
you'll see that it pops up right here in the window. This uh, checkerboard may or may not be black. The checkerboard is there to let you know that there is nothing on the composition right now. It's all the way through. If you work with Photoshop, um, if you don't have a background, this checkerboard pattern shows up by default. If you don't like staring at it, you can toggle it on and off with this toggle right where the mouse is right here called Toggle Transparency Grid. Turn that on and off. I like to work with it off. Uh, I mean, I like to work with the transparency grid on only because you know for sure that there is nothing in the background, and sometimes that's really important to, to know and get to work with. And our comp has finally started a timeline down here. You can see it properly in the name, and you get all the doodads that showed up with it. And of course, it shows up in the project file, in the project window over here, Time Fighters, our composition. And so right now, there's nothing to play with in our composition. Um, here's the timeline scene. There's nothing to scrub because we haven't added any elements. And so the next thing that we're going to be doing is importing media objects into our project window. And there's a couple of ways of doing that. One is file, import, file, or multiple files if they're on uh, separate folders on your on a hard drive or something. Or you can right-click, import, file from this project window menu, uh, the project window over here. And this is my personal favorite because it just seems really, you know, so much significantly faster and you can uh, organize and create um, different folders in here subfolders so that we can organize yourself but we're not going to be working with that many files today so we're just going to leave this be let's file and we're gonna right click file import some footage first actually let's go back to our example movie and the first thing that we see is this image of uh, the ninja gators logo this was a project that we worked on for uh, a senior project class that I had in and um, this was our logo, the Ninja Gator, with its blob assistant. So let's bring in that picture first. This is uh, my default folder that I have for this particular tutorial. And it's the Ninja Gator JPEG. We're going to open that, keep all the default settings. And uh, here we go, it shows up in our project. And it's considered, After Effects considers uh, any sort of media that you import in as footage. So I'll be calling it footage, uh, even though it's not really any sort of moving picture. It is considered footage by After Effects, so if you double click on it, um, it'll open up in the footage window right next to a composite in the composition area. And uh, you can zoom in and out by middle mouse button scrolling. Woo, give yourself some vertigo or um, something a little bit more logical on your on your percentages you have here. One of my favorite is to fit up to 100% and it does its best to cram it into this little window. In this case, it's at 78% here. And yeah, so let's close this out. And let's go back to uh, our composition right here. And uh, um, as you can see, it, there's a background on there. That background isn't just this default one, although it'll work because of the default color is black. I like to make sure that there's something there. So what we're going to do is create a background for this composition. And that's we're going to be doing that by going to Layer, New, Solid, or hitting Control-Y. And black solid is fine. We're you can change the color to whatever you want, pink, red but uh, because our image over on Ninja Gator, the Ninja Gator logo image is black, we're going to stick with the black background. Hit OK and you can see that it shows up over here in solids. We only have one in there so I don't know why it's <laughs> right there. And it also dumps it into your composition and uh, your default settings on the on the solid is going to be the length duration of your of your comp so it's extended it to 15 seconds and it's just black solid. We can rename this if we want or you can double click on it and see absolutely nothing. Let's rename this by right clicking on it and then hit rename at the bottom. We'll just call this background just to keep things organized and nice and it should change up here black solid. Apparently not. Well, whatever. It's in our in our comp. 